Hey everybody, Carl Jones here, and got a guitar lesson for the Allegheny Jam night class, and I think it's going to be a good one. We've been working on uh, some nice D maneuvers up the neck, so I want to review for a second. Just a really nice how we did our D chord on the second fret, and kept that same form. I think you remember this, and you've probably been having fun with it. I hope up to the seventh fret for my G chord, and then the ninth fret for A, and then. I want to, instead of going back to that second fret, let's go to that bar 10th fret, the little two finger, get a little close there, like an F shape. 10 and 10 from the first and second, and then the 11th fret, that high D there. So, right, there's your high D, and we're playing that low second fret, regular D shape, what I would call a D position, D shape. And then when you're up to that 10th fret F shape, that has the D on the high string, and the regular second fret D has the D on the second string. So I want you to try that a couple times, just doing that. D chord, we got a drony fourth string bass, seventh fret, the same shape, the G chord, and then the ninth fret A with a drony D, and then the bar 10 with the eleventh fret on the third string. Now I want you to do something else. Take that as your starting D chord up high, tenth fret, scoot, keep the same shape there, and go back to the third fret. We've done this before, and that's a G chord, and then go to the fifth fret with the same shape, and there's your A chord and then go back down to the second fret, right? So we're changing sh two shapes there, root middle, sort of, I would call it, on the second string, and then the root top. Now this song I wanna do tonight, though, is gonna be uh, Pallet on Your Floor. Doc Watson and Norman Blake and all the, a lot of flat pick guitar people done it, a lot of finger pick guitar people, and bluegrass bands, old time bands have done this. It's a great song, and it has a great uh, second chord in it, which you'll recognize. And instead of going, if I were doing these shapes, we'd go from the, uh, it's got one part of the song where, where the chord just kind of uh, surprises you. So I do that D chord, and instead of going to the seventh fret, we're gonna be one fret short, the sixth fret. Ah, how about that? That's an F sharp chord. So it's just a half step back from G, and then you go to the G. Yeah, and then you go, we'll go up to the high D, and then that regular D chord shape on the seventh, a ninth fret, sorry for A. And back to whatever D you wanna do. I might show you one other form we haven't used that kind of combines to it, where we bar the third and second string on the seventh fret, and your little finger, just try this, get a little finger stretch. It's kind of a big finishing D. It's a, it's a long A, you might call it. I think that's what Doc Watson and all those got normal, we call it the long A. I'm just barring the third and second string, and my little finger gets the tenth fret. So that one little part is going to go, we're going to play it low, and regular chords first, and uh, we'll keep. I'll try to keep moving, and I think you'll find it's a great song. However you want to play it, you can get to keep it simple or get a little fancier. And uh, I think a lot of people know it, which is a good. When they, somebody asks you to sing something, you might could do a verse or two of this with the chorus, and they may sing along. So let's just do that one more time before I. Uh, that the big part of the song is kind of the uh, the third line. It has that in. So you have the D chord, then you go to the sixth fret with the same shape, F sharp, and one more fret to G. There's your uh, G chord, then up to that bar uh, F shape on the 10th fret, and then back to 9th with the D chord shape, and then we'll try that new shape we just did, 7-7 seven, seven bar with a little finger on 10. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to do it one more time, so think about that, see if that's making sense. I think it's a, a great maneuver. It's just slow, we'll do it slow, then the 6th fret, and a half step higher, 7th fret, stay there a little bit, then you go up to that bar 10 F shape. Ninth fret D chord shape. And then we're gonna bar seven and get that little finger, the kind of combo form there. The long A moved up to D. And if I scooted that down to the second fret, you would have a long A. So then barring two, two, and that little finger on five. All right, so let's just look at the chords of this song. It starts out, we're in the key of D. And the start of the song, uh, and which kind of is the chorus, the uh, the verse and chorus are the same progression, so that's kind of nice for us. So it's gonna to go to a G chord. But I'm gonna go ahead and give you something to think about. The melody of this song is really on that second uh, string, third fret. So if you have an open, if you just kind of pick the, uh, the low G bass and kind of strum that second string, you know, the inside strings, and put that third fret down every now and then, you have like... That's kind of the melody. Or you could just kind of add that to a D, the third string on the D chord. So that's kind of the uh, the start of that melody. You have the open second, and then 
the third fret on the second a couple times. I guess it's three times. And gets to that. I'm just kind of giving you the melody in the guitar. You don't have to play the melody, but uh, it's nice to know where it is. In case you do want to do a finger picking version, we might mention how that would work in the end. Do that again. G chord, a partial G with that second string will work. Then you're going up to the the first string of a D chord. Yeah, and then you have. I'm going to give you a shape here to stay low. You're going to have the open first string and get the, uh, just like we did that bar 10 for the D up there, if we went back to G on the third, we need an F sharp, so we back it up to the second fret. But the melody is going to be open on that first string, and we're going to get like a, the frets I have here is four, three, and two on the fourth, third, and second string, but it has a nice melody on the first string. Nice. Then you have that G chord again with that second string feature. Then you have just the D chord, third string sort of feature. And then the A chord with that uh, same note going. And then you could really do a bass walk on the fourth string. Down to D. So I'm going to just play the melody one time before I even sing it. So here's the just think of playing a regular G2, just G of any kind. I'm working that second string. D. Maybe you can pick up a finger here and there. Second string open to third. First string D. You can do a little pick up there. First string. We're going to have that open first string with the F shape on the second fret. And G chord with that open and back to three. D and A. Bass walk D. I'll do the chorus this time with that same maneuver. Make me a pallet on your floor make me a pallet on your floor make it soft make it low so my good gal won't know make me a pallet on your floor G second string work and D, the third string, kind of pick that. G with that open three on the second string. First string D. Little. Here's the D. F sharp. G. One more verse. These blues are everywhere I see. Well, there's blues all around me, everywhere I see. Nobody's had blues like these. In the chorus, make me a pallet on your floor. Make me a pallet on your floor. Make it long, soft, and low. So my good gal will never know Make me a pallet on your floor So, if you want to play it uh, with these shapes Just going uh, with the open one form kind of maneuver We'll go up to the 7th fret for a G And D Not worried about, you know, getting the melody I'll show you something in a second Now here's what we did for 2nd fret, same 6th fret, 7th fret, and up to that high D bar, 9th fret D, and the new shape. So if you wanted to play a melody there, and I'll give you a little finger picking thing to think about, uh, mainly it's just a thumb alternating a bass, but uh, play your, uh, your D shape, I'm playing the G chord here, the D position, 7th fret, a regular D shape. And you can do this, if you can reach your little finger, sort of like that long A stretch, 7 to 10. Might be a little hard for you that way. But you got that. And a long D. Another way you can do it is what I did right there. You could bar three strings on the second fret and get that third fret, second string. A little finger reaches up there. A long D. So I kind of like it that way. The same thing on 7. Bar uh, on the 7th fret, straight across, and put the second finger, 8th fret, and a little finger gets the long
cool. Then you'd have that maneuver. Either you can stay low or go up. Up maybe. So a good thing to practice, let's go back down to the, uh, just a D chord, and I'll give you something to work on just finger picking wise. And uh, I'll try to put the, chord, the, the lyrics at the end of uh, the video here, see if I can give you help with that. Or I can actually send them to you attached maybe with the folks watching. So here we go. Uh, bass finger, I'm just doing, first of all, the thumb on the fourth string, the main bass of your chord, hopefully. So just try doing four and three with your right hand. I'm just holding a D chord. All right. Then what you want to be able to do, first of all, if you're playing with the thumb, you're on the downbeat, because I'm counting one, two, one, two, three, four. You know, down, 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 down. The strong beat's there. One, two, three, four, the downbeat. Now, let's put a pinch with that, maybe the first string. One time, just try a pinch on the first beat. I'm using my middle finger there for that. Now try putting it every other sound like one and three. And now maybe every time. So you just start to get your fingers used to pinching. And if you hadn't ever done finger picking, try that for a little bit and then try picking the middle finger on the first string and your first finger the second string. And try going back and forth with those like First string, second string on pinches. Pinch first, pinch second. And of course, what makes it musical if you don't do it every time, if I went like. You know, you leave out some. An A chord, I would use my fifth string. So the main thing is to get your automatic thumb, as Chet Atkins would call it. And I won't keep going too much with finger picking right now, but to work on that first. And if you're doing a G chord, like in uh, Make Me a Pound 4, you have like a pinch, the sixth string. I'm just getting that low bass. And then I'm using my third. You could use the fourth or third string. I'll use six and three with my. And sometimes people get kind of sloppy and just hit several strings. But I, then I would do a pinch. Sounds pretty good. I'm doing, you know, the open third fret, bass, open third. Then you have the D chord, and you can pinch uh, the wherever the melody is. Just start experiment with that. But let me go back to the uh, another verse on this for a second, and we'll kind of wind up in just a minute or so. So the main thing is you're playing in D. Your uh, chorus and verse starts on the G chord, and goes back to D a couple times. Then you get into that cool D. F sharp and just that's fretwise four three two with the open first string. It's not a bar because we open up. If you want to do a, an F sharp chord, you would have to bar that. Yeah, but we're taking that out and getting the bluesy. And then you have a G. You could scoot that shape to a G or just your regular G. And you have D and A back to D. So I'm gonna play it low again here, and I'll do the another verse is come all you good time friends of mine. A little movement there. Come all you good time friends of mine. Well, when I had a dollar, you treated me just fine. Where'd you go when I only had a dime? You could try playing up high with that long D. Got my alternating thumb. Maybe I'll go to high D. Back to D. Where'd you go when I only had a dime? One last course. Make me a pallet on your floor. Make me a pallet on your floor. Make it soft and low, so my good gal never know. Make me a pallet on your floor. 
That's a great old classic, and I hope that gives you some ideas. And I've enjoyed uh, having the night classes there. This may be about the last session, but uh, regardless, keep on picking the guitar and uh, using those cool small shapes and moving them around. You can get a lot of music out of that, and uh, just enjoy music. Thanks a bunch. See ya.